The famous We Love Houston sign just off Interstate 10. We're coming to you from the Toyota Center in the biggest city in the Lone Star State. There is no... D.A., take it away. Kevin, thank you. Houston now has a star pairing with Russell Westbrook and James Harden. Harden said of his longtime friend, his athleticism and ability to draw attention opens the floor for our team. That's on the court. Off the court, I've known him since I was 10 years old. That friendship can carry over to the court as well. Kevin, it shows on the floor. Oh, that's a great story. David, thank you. Let's check out the Eastern Conference standings now that we're in the new year. Take a look at New York. They're down in ninth place so far, still early in the season. And I think for the Knicks, they talked a lot in the preseason about how they wanted to bounce back from last year's disappointment. So far, they look to be on track to do just that. And now the New York Knicks starters. It's Randall and Robinson at the four and the five. Barrett and Knox are the wingmen. And it's Van Vliet in at the one. And for the Rockets. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. Lovely out there with Robert Covington. And it's House in at the three. Greg, obviously, we're early on here. We already have seen some second-year players looking much more improved over their rookie year. I mean, if you put in the work, you're not guessing as much. And listen, the fact that you've now gone through the season, you've got a better sense of who you are and what you can do out on the floor. Uh, I know I cut way back on my turnovers at the start of my second year, and you go into the offseason with specific goals and areas where you want to improve. You think there's more growth between your first and second year than any other two years in your career? It, it, you could make that case, no doubt about it, because that's you're, you're still thinking you could be one of the all-time greats no matter who you are at that stage, and so you tend to put in a little more emphasis in terms of uh, improvement. You can usually count on Westbrook being among the NBA leaders in points off jobs. I mean, they control at any speed. Now here's Van Vliet. Good D by Westbrook. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. The shot comes out. The Knicks go the other way with it. Last game matched up with the Magic. A tough loss there. Scoring efficiency was an issue in that one. Took them too many shots to get their points. They had a hard time taking the lid off the basket. The offense just looked flat. Now here's Westbrook. Following the miss by Julius Randle. Westbrook missing again. Still plenty of time for him to contribute in this game, but it's a tough stretch he's going through. Randle no good. Rockets have gone just one of four to get this game started. Harden, that's good. And, and when Harden feels the deep playing off of him, he knows he hits them with a quick pull up, Jay. I mean, a shot he knows not many defenders can block. Here's Knox. His last outing, he had eight points. Here's Randall. Good D by Covington. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. Oh, just off his game, forcing a few shots, not letting the game come to him naturally. And that one, good. And terrific floor awareness. I mean, it's obvious Covington has a great feel for when his teammates are wide open. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And so New York calls timeout. They're first. And you look at Robert Covington, first team all defense in 2018, the, the kind of versatile stopper that every team in the league could use. the numbers for him and the stat to look at is his steal total over the last five games he's been focusing more on his defense trying to be a disruptor and it's made them a lot tougher on D now here is Robinson he's coming off a 10-point game against Orlando and not only that 
I mean, if you think about it, he dominated the boards. His energy was incredible. He never stopped working. And Covington may be not a star, but he's a winning player. We've seen him. And the perfect example of that 3 and D role player can guard four or five positions and can definitely sling it from outside. Randall, rebound by House. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Here's Harden, banked in off the glass. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Van Vliet passes to Knox. Outside Robinson. Pass to Van Vliet. Shot clock at five. Westbrook with the block. Always in a relentless pursuit of the ball. Westbrook is capable of making stand out defensive plays. A shot off that time. Plumley with some nice D. Here is House. A 14 point game for him in the win against Oklahoma City. Yeah, and his energy level in that game was amazing. He did all that work offensively and controlled the boards, too. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. All right, it's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses, that doesn't constitute defense. For three, Van Vliet, the offensive rebound. Robinson, that's good. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, that's what's frustrating because you did the job defensively to get the stop, and then you gave it right back. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in with the circus move. Mm, so smooth. Here's Van Vliet. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. Oh, such a field shot there. The floater. Westbrook Robinson with the block. And they get it back. Tries again. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. Uh, you better defend Westbrook aggressively. I mean, as we can see, he's just too consistent a shooter not to. The pass to Randall. Shoots over Covington. Randall no good. You can see the frustration in the quarter on his face, especially with his team trail. It's good. Harden's got eight. Not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Now here's Van Vliet. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Orlando. Yeah, and don't forget about his passing. I mean, he didn't forget about his teammates. He was spreading the ball all over the floor. And already they staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Here's Harden. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. This quarter expending tremendous energy at the offensive end. And he's not slowing down. He's still calling for it. Randall left side. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And here we go with Westbrook running it up the court. For Barrett, another miss by Harden. Knicks trail by 12. Knox the pass to Barrett. Van Vliet outside. It's rebounded by Houston. I love to see the defense exhibit some passion in protecting the rim right there. Here's Westbrook and off the left side of the rim and it swirls in for him. He's got 10. And they're forcing the ball inside and it's working like a charm. New York calls timeout. And when you think about being fashion forward, Russell Westbrook's fearlessness extends to his game day outfits. Oh, oh, come on, Jay. Russ lives by the model. Why not? I mean, the same reckless abandon we see on the court, yeah, it's reflected in his clothing.
with a big group substitution here. P.J. Tucker, who's checked in for Plumlee. Gordon comes in for Daniel House. McCray is checked in for James Harden. And it's Austin Rivers in for Russell Westbrook. And new group in for the Knicks. Marcus Alls checked in for Mitchell Robinson. Portis comes in for Julius Randle. Harris is checked in for Kevin Knox. And it's Drogic in for Fred Van Vliet. To the paint, here's Gasol. And Covington sends it back. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. And it's Harris with the ball for the Knicks. It's a 14-point game. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Houston this season. And with this matchup being an East versus West affair, it will be the first of only two meetings between the teams. Yeah, it should be a fun game to watch. I mean, two teams that don't see each other that much. They'll learn a lot about each other tonight. And here are the Rockets now. After New York gets the three, Rivers can't get it to go. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. Now Drogic still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. And there's the toughness Drogic needs to show. Able to finish in the face of some very tight defense. Ball's knocked loose. And pushing it up, here's New York. Harris with the ball. Way ahead of the field. He can do pretty much whatever he wants. Yeah, and defensively, you'd like to see a greater effort to change in. Now here's Rivers taking a look at the scoring numbers. Right now, he averages about nine points a game. And it's Gordon missing. Knicks trail by seven. Barrett with the ball. 20 points for him last game against Orlando. Not to mention his defense. I mean, he was a terror. He came away with three steals and caused a whole lot of headaches. Houston's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. And Rivers with the basket on the assist by Gordon. I mean, this is Gordon's offensive instincts going to work. I mean, feeds the open man the moment he spots him. Passes it to Barrett. Harris outside. New York needs to get off a shot. Barrett for three, but they'll get another chance. Gasol goes up with it again, and that's two points on the way. With his size, with his strength, with, with his brain, <laughs> there's no reason Gasol shouldn't be able to dominate the game offensively. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. Strange to see Mark Gasol shooting from outside. His game, Greg, wasn't always like it is now. I mean, he's Gasol has added a three to his game in the last seasons with Memphis, and, and it was an immediate success. He became a functioning stretch five. Early in his career, he was more likely to drag you to the block and just bruise you more than anything else. in for Robert Covington. And let's go now to the rookie watch. For the past month, these have been the most productive NBA rookie scores. R.J. Barrett, fourth. And those numbers have started to set him apart offensively from most of the other rookies in the league. Outside, Gordon. 110 left in the first. Pass to Rivers. And the shot is long. They hold the early advantage on the glass. And here's Dragic. He's coming off a 10-point game against Orlando. Portis can't get it to go. Here's McCray. Rivers in the corner. Releases from 15. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Rockets lead by nine. And that's a pure hustle play. Getting to the offensive glass for the tipping. And that's the kind of quality you see in any strong offensive rebounder, isn't it? 
from 11 feet away, and it's Gordon missing. Here's Barrett, and Barrett slams it in. And how about the court awareness there? Uh, Dragic, fantastic job spotting the wide open teammate. Russell Westbrook has been leading the charge for the Houston Rockets. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. We've got more in store for you right after this. Earlier on, we ran into Bobby Portis, who explained the origin of the underdog label. You know, I think the underdog story, you know, started when I was a kid. Uh, you know, I've always been a guy that's always been picked second, um, even though I had, you know, high accolades in high school. And I had to work for those really, really hard to get those. I feel like nobody really ever believes in, you know, none of the things I do. Um, you know, even if I have a good season, you know, to me it was a good season, but somebody else it wasn't, it wasn't as good as they wanted it to be. And Greg playing with a chip on his shoulder has served Portis well. Some guys try to block out the haters. Portis uses it as fuel to keep achieving more. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And looking at what we've seen from Houston, what do you guys think? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Showing no mercy right now. The shooters look frustrated seeing so many of their shots get stifled. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And New York, looking at who they've got, they've got Mark Gasol. Rogic is out there with R.J. Barrett. Then there's Harris, and it's Portis in at the four. And so it's New York with it. The Rockets making the shot. Are oh, you expecting to make those? They've got to do more to get a hand in his face next time. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, guys, we all know that there are some people who dislike James Harden's style of play. They're bored watching him shoot free throws. He said, I see how teams guard me and find ways to exploit it. I just outthink the game, and I'm faulted for it. Kevin, that may be, but it's hard to argue with the results. Back to you. You're right. One of the top scorers in league history, David. Thanks for that report. Here's Rivers after the made shot from Goran Dragic. Pass to Patterson. Back to Rivers. An easy two points on the layup. Rivers has got four points now in the quarter. These buckets help Rivers get going. The defense can't allow him to get comfortable from there. Rivers against Dragic. Kicks to Gasol. And that's good. And it's Dragic with the assist. Six points for Mark Gasol. Oh, that's a well-deserved assist. Not every player has the vision to make that feed. Rivers passes to Gordon. Here's McCray. Launches it. It's rebounded by New York. Gasol's got six rebounds now in the game. In the corner, Barrett with it. High arcing shot. It's good. And the Rocket lead is cut down now to just five on the basket from Dragic. Just no timeout, resistance timeout. on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Timeout called the Rockets. We know how important the draft is, Greg. It can, it can shape an organization. Talk about some of the best draft day deals of the last couple decades. There have been a lot of them. Oh, there have been a few. I mean, just coming to mind here recently, how about when Kawhi was traded to the Spurs? That was a, yes. a huge get. Go back George to how Hill. about Kobe going to the Lakers? Uh, Mikhail and Parrish coming to the Celtics. I mean, we've seen that happen quite a bit. And, and I tell you what, boy, it, it can really transform a franchise's future. Houston with a big group substitution here. 
Mason Plumley's checked in for P.J. Tucker. Manuel House comes in for Eric Gordon. James Harden, he's checked in for Jordan McRae. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Rivers. And a new group in for the Knicks. Robinson's checked in for Gasol. Julius Randle comes in for Bobby Portis. Knox, he's checked in for Barrett. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Goran Dragic. Now here's Randle. He's coming off a 16-point game against Orlando. Yeah, his energy level in that game was amazing. He did all that work offensively and controlled the boards, too. Knicks trail by seven. Bobbed up there for Robinson. Hammers the alley-oop through. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on James Hart. The next shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. Two shots. First one falls. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Houston leading by four, feeds it to Harden. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Harden's got four points now in the quarter. They have ridden him today, and it has paid off in a big way. To the inside, and it's sent back by Plumley, And it's out of bounds. The Knicks able to retain possession here. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Determined to protect the lead with the all-out effort defensively. Superb anticipation on the block. Harris outside. A three ball. Good on the three-point shot. Harris has got eight points. Oh, he just caught the defense napping. He shoots a very high percentage from three-point range, and there's no hand in his face. Harden against Randall. Robinson with the block. Plumley, and he gets it back. Van Vliet, right shot. The pass to Randall. Over House. Here's Robinson. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Defense is aggressive on him, but when you're giving up that much height, there's only so much you can do. For New York, they have converted one of two free throws so far today. Robert Covington's checked in for the Rockets. One drops. He ties it up. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for Houston. He's led by as many as 14 points. Way to showcase the court vision. Westbrook, I mean, he gets his teammates some wide open looks. And after over a decade with the Thunder, last season, Russell Westbrook starting fresh with the Rockets. A superstar pairing with longtime friend James Harden. Now here's Van Vliet. He's been a nice option for them offensively, and he's averaging more than 17 points a game. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And, Greg, there were some legitimate questions about Harden and Westbrook and how they would play together. Westbrook, not the floor spacer they look to put around Harden. And that preceded their moves at the trade deadline. I mean, committing to small ball. Westbrook, the lone non-shooter from distance, unlocked, though, to attack the paint. And the first one at the line is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. 
Greg, I know you've played for some great coaches in your day. What is it that separates the truly elite coaches, in your opinion, from just coaches that are pretty good? I think the one attribute that's most important for a great coach is consistency. And, and I've said this, you can, you can coach a lot of different ways, you can win a lot of different ways, but you've got to be sincere and true to your principles and, and your philosophy. And those are the coaches, and I've had them that have done it different ways, but they've been the most successful. And listen, you've also, at the professional level, you've got to have a presence about you. You've got to have some charisma out there as well to get these men to buy in. Randall with the bucket. And playing with a lot of fire now. They had a tough start in that first quarter. Didn't shoot it well, but didn't let that discourage them. And now they're showing what they can do offensively. The Knicks leading by four. And the basket by Knox. Knox has got five points so far. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Another miss by Westbrook. Guys, they're in a really nice roll here. Yeah, just haven't wasted any opportunities. Here's Knox. Five points in the game. Here's Randall. And a physical presence is former Kentucky Wildcat Julius Randall. But, but he's got some mobility to go along with it. Able to move and attack in transition. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And guys, you might remember that he was not at his best from the foul line in their last outing. No good on the free throw. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Good on the second free throw. And we've seen Randall Flores with more responsibility. He's in his prime and playing his best ball. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Robinson with the block. And battling hard on the glass. They hold the advantage here so far. Back to Harris. Five on the clock. From deep, the Rockets pull it in. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Yeah, and I have too, which is why they're okay with it. I'm sure if he gets that kind of look again, he's going to let it fly again. Here's Van Vliet following the basket by Russell Westbrook. Harris kicks to Van Vliet. Kept alive by New York. Robinson misses. Rockets trail by five. How is the pass to Harden? And he uses the glass on the way. Harden's got 16. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Knicks. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. Knox. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. To the middle, here's Plumley, and it's slammed in by Plumley. And Harden is deadly in the pick and roll sets, whether he's shooting or passing. The D knows they're in trouble when he's involved. Passes it to Robinson. Van Vliet with it. And the layup is good. Six points for him. And since the first quarter, we've seen them ease off on that long-range affair. Out. And frankly, that's probably a good idea. Now a timeout called by Houston. The adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, I, I like the chess match that's going on here. Each team trying to find and, and exploit the favorable matchup on the floor.
Houston with a big group substitution here. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Plumber. Gordon comes in for Daniel House. McCray is checked in for James Harden. And it's Rivers in for Russell Westbrook. So New York going with almost an entire new group. Marcus Gasol's checked in for Robinson. Portis comes in for Randall. R.J. Barrett's checked in for Kevin Knox. And it's Drogic in for Harris. Now here's Van Vliet. He's got six. Six to shoot. Here's Krogic. Nice four for seven from the floor with that shot. It was a tough first quarter for him, but it's been a different story here in the second. Gordon inside. Barrett covering. Rivers can't get it to go. He struggles with his finishes sometimes. I mean, it's kept him from being an elite player. This is his first free throw of the game. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? You throw good, Van Vliet. Houston making a switch here. Patterson's checked in. And so Van Vliet nails both of them. Well, his free throw shooting is something they never need to worry about. He doesn't even know how to go through a cold streak. 58 seconds left in the first half. There's Gordon with the three. And it's Van Vliet with the rebound. Van Vliet's got his fifth rebound in this one. If he'd been even halfway decent today, the score would be a lot different. But you can't get anything to fall. Here's McCray. No good off the of front iron. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. Rockets trail by nine. Bounce pass Gordon, and Tucker kicks to Gordon. Rivers looking over the floor, back to Gordon. Trying to end the drought. Bunnex pull it in. Gasol's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. For three, Van Vliet, what a play! Simply trains it in at the buzzer. How about that triple to put a cap on their run here going into the break. Finish that half on a big time roll. And so it's New York enjoying a 12 point lead as they talk things over during the break. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity and they are pounding it down low. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks Kevin. Russell, how confident are you that there's nobody that can stay in front of you? Uh, very confident. Uh, I have a lot of confidence in myself. Uh, I put a lot of work in in the summertime, and I'm very confident. That is never a problem for you, Russ. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime, so we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody, good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. Some struggles for New York in the first quarter. They struggled to find an offensive rhythm or come up with enough stops and sunk into a seven-point hole by the end of the period. It tells you a lot about the character of this team, though, that they put that poor start behind them and had a fantastic second quarter building a 12-point halftime game. and taking a look at the Knicks. Shaq, what'd you think? They had a little bit of intimidation factor, right? They attacked the glass with a lot of energy. When you get an opponent on their heels, you got to keep attacking. And over to Kenny. What did you think about the Rockets? I look at the lack of free throw attempts as a key indicator. 
Because the funny thing about getting to the charity strike, you have to earn it. You have to put your body in harm's way and be physically willing to take the hit. Right now, one team's playing aggressively and the other team isn't. That's the big difference in the score. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. Welcome back. The calendar has flipped over, and so have we into the second half of our broadcast. An exceptional performance so far from James Harden. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. Robert Covington out there with Plumley, and it's House in at the small forward position. That's the five for Houston right now. Knox. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Here's Westbrook. Randall grabs the board. Randall's got five rebounds tonight. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. The Rockets last season traded Clint Capella for Robert Covington. The front office felt it was a move they had to make to go from good to great. And, of course, they certainly gave up size, but with Westbrook and Harden in the lineup, they needed more shooting. So open driving lanes to be at their best. And Covington provides that, along with great perimeter defense. Guys? A team that's no stranger to bold moves. Thanks, David. Here's Van Vliet. Following the basket by Mason Plumley. Here's Knox. And the Knicks miss again. It's trailed by 10. In the corner, Harden. Here's Plumley. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got three assists in the game. Van Vliet passes to Robinson. Now Barrett over House. And he overshot that one, missing. I don't know what they drew up at halftime, but it ain't worth 0 for 4 to start the half. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. And, and he's gotten to his spots and capitalized. He just needs a little more help from his team. Count that one from Van Vliet. And they finally get one to go. I mean, and just in time, an 0 for 4 start to the second half can really make a team tighten up. Count it. Westbrook's got 14. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Randall with the bucket. The brutal strength of Randall, allowing him to finish right there through clear contact. Now the feed to Harden. And the jam by Harden. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. And last season, we saw teams double and trap James Harden more than any other player in the league. As soon as he crossed half court, they did not want the ball in his hands. And all the trapping had to frustrate Harden. But whatever may come, he's going to make the right play. Take a break. Yeah, Take a and, break. and he can, G.A., because he's Good not shot. just a good passer. He's a great passer. He averaged over double digits assists the year they played him at point guard. He makes you pay for sending help. That free throw good from Randall. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. You know, winning that championship as you did great for UNLV. Many people don't remember you played much of that season with a broken jaw. Well, Kevin, I don't remember much of it, to be honest with you. Uh, it was pretty hazy. I lost 19 pounds over the course of the season. Oh, I was goodness. championship night. I was 168 pounds. No and, uh, kidding. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was wired wow. shut for eight weeks. Did miss a game, but I tell you what, I don't know if I would do that today. But, you know, it, it, it did turn out well with the championship as I recall you broke it against Fresno State correct yes yeah got my legs taken out uh, from oh. under me and broke the fall with my face <laughs> yeah. oh. ouch 
they have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. But when you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Yeah, yeah. Horrible effort. It appears they may be on the brink of giving up. Now is Harden. 20 points for him, the 17 footer. The kick out to Westbrook. Shoots over Van Vliet. And another shot. The shot's good from Plumley. He's been fantastic, but he can't do it all by himself. Some of the other guys need to lighten the load and step up. Here's Van Vliet. And the rejection by Harden. Inside, here's Westbrook. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got four assists now tonight. So on the muscle. I love how Westbrook takes on all comers when he's trying to score. Randall. And Randall throws it down. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Oh, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. I mean, it's time for him to take over. He's played it cool long enough. And I think he realizes that. Van Vliet passes to Randall, and he gets the bucket. Randall's got 10 points in just the second half. He's putting the hammer down. Dominant quarter for him, trying to push out that lead. Here's Westbrook, and again, the Rockets good for two. Oh, the flashy ball handling of Westbrook, so clever at creating scoring opportunities for himself. Knox, the pass to Robinson. Van Vliet against Harden. Now here's Van Vliet. D right on him. Barrett, no good. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for the Rockets. Here is House. Barrett covering. House dishes to Harden. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. It's Barrett on the wing. He's covered by Westbrook. Van Vliet passes to Knox. No good with the triple. Uh, even for a player who's not a three-point specialist, I mean, that's a shot you've got to knock down. Not loose. It's stolen by Randall. Here's Barrett. And Barrett slams it in. Uh, they look to Barrett in these spots because they trust the young man's ability to finish in the open court. Now a timeout called by Houston. And the Houston Rockets last season going out and getting Robert Covington. Um, Blake, why was that a good fit for this team? You know, Kevin, his range shooting really unlocked Westbrook's ability to get to the lane. Also, Covington's contract creates some flexibility, one of the best values in the league as far as productivity. Substitution here. Patterson is checked in for Robert Covington. Gordon comes in for Daniel House. McCray is checked in for James Harden. And it's Austin Rivers in for Russell Westbrook. And then for New York, Marcus Saul is checked in for Knox. Portis comes in for Randall. And it's Drogic in for Fred Van Vliet. Now here's Gordon. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Robinson kicks to Dragic. It falls for his fifth field goal of the night. Now shooting five for eight. Oh, I love it. He's working the ball down low. Always a good plan of attack. Rivers finds Gordon. That one's not going to go. So New York will take it the other way. Doubled by Plumley, Robinson passes to Gasol. Up top, Barrett. Outside, Robinson. Pass to Gasol. 
Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. For New York, they have shot nine of 11 at the free throw line. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Houston. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Knox has checked in. One shot. There have been a lot of brother acts in NBA history when you think about it. But the Casal brothers, I mean, Mark and his older brother, Powell, I mean, they have to be among uh, the best combos ever. New York leading by 15. Outside Dragic. Pass to Barrett. Casal kicks to Portis. And Portis throws it down. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. No, because it's gone dead silent in this arena. What a fantastic performance here on the road. Now here's Gordon. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. That one drops for him. Now with all the intensity he plays with, boxing him out is a chore. A tough one. The pass to Barrett. Portis trying to free himself. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Outside Gordon to the paint. And he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. If he's got his hands on the ball within a few feet of the basket, Tucker has one thing on his mind. Dunk that guy. 14 feet away. It's rebounded by Houston. Tells you a little something about their team. They've been able to pull in front despite his troubles tonight. Gordon. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, I consider Gordon a crafty scorer, I mean, as he knows how to create opportunities all around him. Houston shooting their first shots of the night from the charity strike. Free throw good from Eric Gordon. Well, I think it's Gordon's diverse skill set that makes him a, a, a great supporting player. He can fill any gaps in your game on offense or defense. Zeller, he's checked in for P.J. Tucker. Both free throws good from Eric Gordon. And it's Dragic with the ball for the New York Knicks. They lead by 11. Here's Knox. Seven points in the game. There's a minute 47 left to play in the third. Gordon inside. He's up against Gasol. And the basket by Gordon. Gordon's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Rockets. Barrett gets to Gasol. Passes to Dragic. The sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. As a screener in the pick and roll, your job's easy. When Dragic is running it, just set a solid screen and let him do the rest. Now here's Gordon. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about ten and a half points a game. To the left side wing. Dragic against Rivers. Six on the shot clock. Lee Baz was put in just the right spot. This speaks to how strong Portis is. It's obvious he enjoys showing off that muscle. Rivers dishes to Gordon. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. And with an 86% free throw average, you can count on him to come through on most trips. Free throw good from Eric Gordon. Daniel House has checked in for Tyler Zeller. Angela. 
All free throws good from Eric Gordon. And not a single free throw attempt in that first half, but he has been far more active since the break and drawn some fouls. For New York, they have been getting it done at the line, 10 for 12. Only shooting 71, really, on the season, so there is plenty of room for improvement. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. Born in Toronto, Barrett joins a talented group of Canadians who have entered the NBA ranks. And he's good on the second. Rockets trail by 12. Outside Gordon. seconds left. The shot that time not on target. And so it's New York enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. Everything's falling into place and we'll see if they can keep it going. Back to the action after this word. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. New York leading by 12. And on the floor for New York here in the fourth. Barrett and Knox are the wingmen. Marc Gasol is out there with Portis. And it's Dragic in at the one spot. Once he turned it on, he became a force in this game. Not sure where this guy was in the first half. Oh, here's Gordon. Passes it to House. Makes it off the glass. House has got his first basket of the night. I mean, he knows exactly what he's doing out there. Fakes the shot and zips the pass over for a wide open look. And they double up Gasol. Back to Dragic. And it goes out of bounds. Went off Dragic. And the Rockets making a change here. Covington's checked in. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. And that's what a team needs when they're trailing. Energy on D. Rockets trail by 12. Now Rivers. Outside Gordon. Rocket six. Got a piece of it. Launches a three. Rebounded by Knox. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. Oh, that's some skill on that assist. I mean, the timing has to be perfect on a lead pass. Here's McCray. He kicks it to Rivers. Pass to McCray. This one for three. Sinks the triple. There is the unselfishness that coaches love so much. Rivers doing a great job getting it to the open man. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Here's McCray. Pass to Gordon. Let's it go from deep. It's rebounded by New York. 17 points was their biggest margin. There's the pass to Dragic. Good for another basket. He's put up 10 shots and made seven of them. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Pass to McCray. Kicks it to Gordon. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Ooh, that shifty, unpredictable, herky-jerky nature of Gordon's game it allows him to get to the line. And he never knows exactly how to guard.
first free throw is good for the Rockets. Mason Plumlee's checked in for Daniel House. James Harden comes in for Jordan McCray. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Rivers. And then for New York, Robinson's checked in for Gasol. Julius Randle comes in for Bobby Portis. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Goran Dragic. He doesn't get the second one. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. Barrett, the shot from the low post is good. Barrett's got four points now in the quarter. I love seeing Barrett cash in there. He knows he has what it takes to finish through contact. And it's Gordon missing. He has shot them in the foot with his inability to make shots tonight. Knox the pass to Van Vliet. He kicks to Barrett. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Barrett's got 12 points in just the second half. Strange game for him. Barely made any noise in the first half, and here in the second, he's been everywhere. Gordon finds Plumley. Harden scanning the floor. The Rockets with another miss. The Knicks leading by 17. Barrett wide open. He fires. And again, New York with the triple. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Uh, starting to take over here, building a big lead that could ultimately prove this amount. It's rebounded by Houston. Harden's got six rebounds now in the game. Covington kicks to Harden. They need this. It's rebounded by New York. Barrett's got four rebounds now tonight. Randall left side. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. You too. Jump ball. And so it's New York with it. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. And it's Westbrook missing. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. A chance now to check out the Knicks' upcoming schedule. On Sunday, then on Tuesday, they'll be playing against LaMarcus Aldridge and the San Antonio Spurs. And for that Shooting game two. against the Warriors... It's the second game of a back-to-back, -back, and you know they're going to be feeling the effects of it. Playing that much basketball in that short amount of time really takes a toll. And that one falls for Barrett. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Rockets trail by 21, outside Gordon. And out of bounds as the Knicks gain possession. Westbrook against Van Vliet. Dishes it to Barrett. Tries it from the top of the key, and it's rebounded by Covington. Covington's got rebound number five here tonight. Westbrook against Van Vliet. The Rockets with another miss. New York with the ball. They're on a 15-6 run. Barrett, the open look. It's good only a few seconds into the shot clock. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Harden's shot is good. He's so crafty with the ball. The ability to score inside and outside. Just a terrific night from Hart. Van Vliet passes to Barrett. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Barrett's got 22. A, a, a tough first half, but it's been a different story here since the break. Here's Westbrook. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. Uh, for a point guard, Westbrook hits the boards hard. He's fantastic at keeping plays alive. To the middle. 
Here's Randall. Not enough on that one as it misses. That's high quality defense right there. Reading the situation, reacting, and making that a very tough jump shot. Uh, you can learn a lot by watching him operate in their offense. Now here's Van Vliet. Pass to Knox. And Van Vliet, here we go. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That is his first foul of the game. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Randall outside. Known for his defensive chops. Cogginson's length and timing is what allows him to bother shooters. And he really seems to just have lost his touch at halftime. Rockets trail by 18. with it. Three-pointer. Tips it. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. They've cashed in on a lot of second chance opportunities here in the second half. That extra effort will help them cut into this deficit. Here's Knox. Back to Van Vliet. Here's the floater. That shot, no good. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. Outside Gordon. Shot clock at six. And it's slammed in by Plumley. Gordon does more than shoot the ball well. He has great passing distance. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back on the the New Balance player of the game, Mitchell Robinson. Yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight, just amazing. He hadn't just been gunning. He, he's been picking his spots, and, and you need that kind of patience and discipline to shoot as well as he has. He's been their pulse tonight, the player who's guided them to the win, and it's a win they needed coming off a loss in their last one. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Oldham. Hey, Kevin, well, let's summarize what Tom Thibodeau went over with his guys during the break. His key message was, don't get comfortable. Those guys are going to come at us with everything they've got. Let's bring the intensity and stay focused on every possession. Kevin, back to you. And it's still a close game, I mean, despite the fact that they've struggled to compete on the board. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. Oh, here's Van Vliet. There's the double team with West. Robinson for three. Plumley with the rebound. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. New York leading by nine. Here's Randall. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Randall's got 12 points here in the second half. Let the big man eat. Give it to Randall there, and he's locked in on scoring. Plumley attacking. No good on that one. So New York will take it the other way. Here's Knox, and that one is stuffed right through. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. Harden inside the three-point line. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Harden's got 32 points in the game. Oh, and Harden is very good at picking apart the D on the pick and roll. Whether he's dishing the rock or shooting, the D has no idea how to slow him down. Now here's Randall. Yep, it counts. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. And he's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. Here's Harden on the win. Here it covering. Van Vliet passes to Randall. And Randall throws it down. And this is going to end 
in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for New York. Looking at both these teams, they're great rebounders, and on any given night, you might not know who would have the advantage on the board. They, they made the most of those extra rebounds as well, Kevin. And with this effort tonight, grabbing their eighth win of the year. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. A very solid win indeed. And when you check out the box score, there were some great numbers for Robinson. Oh, he was a scary man at the defensive end with all those blocks. Even the shots he didn't get a hand on, he affected. He forced a lot of misses out there tonight. Houston with a big group substitution here. Tyler Zellers checked in for Plumley. P.J. Tucker comes in for Robert Covington. Howard's checked in for Daniel House. And Smith's subbed in for Russell Westbrook. And both free throws good for James Harden. And see, Webb, the strength and conditioning of James Harden, something I'm not certain everybody has an appreciation for. Yeah, and, and to your point, back in high school, despite leading Artesia to back to back state championships, Harden dealt with asthma and was frankly out of shape. Over the years, dedication to diet and training that enabled him to reach new heights. Here is Harden following the score by New York. The second chance effort. It doesn't go for him. Some solid defense from Gasol. Smith against Harden. And it's slammed in by Smith. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, I love how they play for one another out there. No signs of selfishness. They're just a total team effort. Connects from three-point range. But he's so dangerous from out there. Harden can beat you off the catch, beat you off the bounce, beat you in transition, beat you when you sleep, beat you when you wake. He, he can beat you. Smith outside. So no problem for New York as they get the win. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Kevin, with Julius Randle. And Julius, you get it done at multiple ends. Where does your focus been in terms of approach? Just taking what the defense gives me. Um, I'm a lot more patient. Uh, let the game come to me. Um, don't really try to force things as much. You know, sometimes I get out of character, but uh, you know, just chop my hardest and let the game come to me the most. Well, you were a big part of the win tonight, Julius. Thanks for your time. Kevin, back to you. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up for Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.